morning. Uh, it's a rainy morning in Jolly Harbor, Antigua. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I did a blog yesterday sort of saying um, that Antigua's got a lot of COVID right now. And um, I figured I would explain just a little bit more about my how I feel and why why I think so. Um, so as I as I mentioned yesterday, let me walk let me walk you through what's happened over the last eighteen months. If you think you have COVID, so if you think you have COVID, <clears throat> depending on the week or the month. You know, you call up the Ministry of Health, you say, listen, you know, I need to get tested. They ask you a bunch of questions. Certain times of the year, certain times of the, of the month, they, they just say to you, listen, man, you know, like, we'll get back to you. I've spoken to, I mean, you know, obviously doing these vlogs, I speak to so many different people. So many people message me, call me. I've spoken to so many people who are, have got every damn symptom there is. I can't get a test from Ministry of Health. If you read the date, the, 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 if you go to the Ministry of Health page and you read the notes that come with the dashboard, you can see how many tests they do. They've never done any any numbers of tests compared to most of the other neighboring islands. It's always you know, hundred here, two hundred and fifty, one hundred and seventy-five. It's the small numbers. If somebody ends up at the hospital. Of course, they're tested, and usually their loved ones in the same household are tested. If somebody, okay, I'll, I'll give you an example. So two employees of my parents, one of them had symptoms, they managed to get a test. They said, but you know, I drive to work every day with this person. After, they told the person to... um that told both of them they have to isolate. After about a 10 days, one of them got a test, confirmed he had, had COVID. The next one didn't get a test, didn't get a test, didn't get a test. Two weeks later, they got a test. Uh, oh, no, no, sorry, two weeks after that, so it's almost three weeks later, they got a test, negative. The first one who tested positive, symptoms went away, they want they want to go back to work. Call the Ministry of Health. Come, they can't. Nobody come in to test them. And and if you remember the last time we had a spike. If you read the the the, the, the notes, most a lot of the tests, a third of the tests being done were being given to people who were stuck at home, not able to go to work, waiting to finally get their negative from the Ministry of Health. So nowadays, people are like Tal. If I call Ministry of Health because I have symptoms of COVID and they come and test me. I'm going to be stuck here in my house long after the symptoms go away, waiting for Ministry of Health to finally come and test me out. So people are like, nah, to hell with that. In addition to that, everybody who's traveled sees tests, gets, if you're in England, you pretty much get them for free. Um, so most, most people I know, not most, a lot of the people I know who have traveled have tests. I went when I went to the states um, in end of August. I purchased eight test kits, rapid tests. So you know, if somebody, for me or one of my boat crew members, has symptoms or is coming into contact with somebody, I just make them get a test. And so, if they if they test positive with a with a rapid test, and they're not sick, I say okay. Well, you know, stay home. For two weeks and we'll test you again or stay home for 10 days we'll test you again we ain't calling the ministry of health you know that's the mentality why why call ministry of health because if you call ministry of health well we know what's going to happen we've seen it before we've seen it for the last 18 months so over the last three or four days i've been hearing people on all corners of antigua testing positive using ra rapid tests that they have at home or somebody's given them and then i call the ministry of health so just think about that. Now, what I want, this is the most important part of this video, is, is I want everybody to think about this. When COVID first started, it was infectious. 
but we still would see an outbreak in this part of the world and it would slowly spread over weeks to another part and over weeks and finally it would, it would come to Antigua, right? Delta came, it was a little bit more infectious. We'd still see England having a big spike and then weeks and weeks and weeks later, we have a big spike. So the assumption is, I mean, you know, again, most people don't, don't listen to the news. I always say that, which is, which is, which is sad because you know, you cannot, you cannot, if you watch the news and you watch BBC or one of the other news stations and you see what's happening in the state, you kind of know what's going to happen here. So the massive spikes, one in 20 people in London right now has COVID-19, the Omicron. And two things that you have to remember, really, really interesting um, thoughts, well, points of view, my opinion, I think it's interesting. It's just like, wow, this is really interesting. Very different. Because Omicron is so much more infectious than anything we've ever seen, there isn't the lag. It doesn't take a month for it to come to Antigua. So if you have a spike in England on the first of the month, we're not waiting a whole month to see the effects of that spike come to Antigua. It happens so much faster. And so that's why the spike is going on right now in Antigua as we speak. Now, people are saying, oh, well, you know, we only have 100 cases uh, officially um, right now. Um, but again, that's because nobody's calling Ministry of Health. So all these rapid tests are not being counted. Um, my alarm's going off. Hang on a second. So because it's so much more rapid and it's sharing so much faster. Oh, Lord. Um because it's, it, it, it's spreading so much faster, it's here in Antigua already. And that is the main thing. But the other thing is, um, which you have to think about, is because it is um, so much faster and because nobody is testing, you know, uh, the government the government is not testing unless unless it's like pulling teeth trying to get a test out of the government. The government doesn't really know what's going on. And so they the average person coming from England or from America is like, boy, our numbers are pretty bad back home. But Antigua, phew, we don't have to be as safe as we were being in London where it was bad because the official cases are, are really low. So we, can, we don't have to wear a mask all the time. So they go to the restaurant. They have their mask off the whole time. They go to the bar. They go to like house parties because, hey, listen, the government says we don't, we don't have any COVID here. So I don't have to worry about it. But they, 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 they didn't understand that this thing spread so fast. Now, I went to Canada to pick up my son um, a few weeks ago. And, uh, you know, I went in to get my PCR test at the hospital here in Antigua. And of course, you go into the chapel. I'm sure many of you have gone it before. You go into the chapel. It's an enclosed building. But you got to take your mask off to get your nasal swab. And I thought to myself, boy, wow, this is a really interesting thing. If this thing is so infectious and we're all in here in this enclosed little small building getting PCR up the nose, this just doesn't make sense. But anyway, three days later, I'm in Canada. Now, what we've seen from so many people who are getting Omicron right now is one of their friends gets Omicron confirmed in a rapid test. They live with the same person. So they assume I must have Omicron too. A swab negative. Wow, that's weird. The next day, swab negative. That's weird. Well, I guess I got away. The next day they're like, boy, let me just try it. No test, positive. And so, you know, it's something that we've been told many times before, you don't, just because you're staying next to somebody who has COVID, you're living with somebody, you're kissing somebody who has COVID, you're not going to test positive immediately. So it takes days. So for example, all these, you, you could go in England, right now, if, you're on a, if, you, if you want to come to Antigua in two days time or in three days time, you go get your test today. You may have COVID right now when you're getting tested, but it might not test, it might not come back as a positive. It takes a while, and we've seen this here in Antigua. I mean, the, uh, the, I, know, I know of several situations the last few days where groups of people were hanging out, one test positive here in Antigua, one test positive. The other people say, oh my God, we must, be, let's check. They test negative, negative, negative. It takes like three days for them to, get, to test positive. And so you can see the average flight coming here from 
the most infectious place in the, in the planet right now, London, is going to have lots of people on it who haven't yet been able to test positive. So, you know, all in all, the show must go on, as we know. We're going to continue to to run our businesses and keep the place open. But listen, all I'm saying is don't be fooled by the government numbers. That's, that's the most important thing. Th th those numbers are way off, and that's a fact. Um, and, and we're never going to get a good exam, a good understanding of how much COVID is here because it's just so hard to get a government test. And unlike some of the other countries in the world and some of the other islands nearby, we only use PCR for our government statistics, which, you know, which won't give you an accurate idea. But there's a huge amount here in Antigua right now. Trust me on that. So if you are... If you have some sort of pre-existing condition, you're immunocompressed, whatever, <clears throat> or you didn't get a vax, Stay home. Be careful. All right. Later.